She's back. She's not dead. She's alive. Just barely. Shout out to depression. Depression. You're a little asshole. I got the e.l.f. putty bronzer after hearing much reviews. And I've had the Fenty bronzer and I love it. I've bought it like three times over now. I love it. It's creamy, super easy to blend. So I felt like I was cheating on Mr. Robin Fenty, but I was like, you know what? I need to just try it because it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't. So the Elf Putty Bronzer. I got it in the lightest shade, tan lines. I like that it is in a jar. I, I feel like it's kind of cool toned for me. Especially, uh, I know I shouldn't do this, but right next to the Fenty. The Fenty is a little bit warmer. Excuse it, it's dirty. It's a little bit warmer. So, we're going to see how she blends out and how she looks. Warm my pale ass up. Okay. So I already have my foundation and my concealer situation on, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Stick Foundation. Love this foundation. I cannot rave enough good things about it. That's really good on my combo skin in the summer when it's hot and I'm sweating. And then I did a new combination of concealers today. I did the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer with the Uoma Beauty Woke Concealer. She's cute. She's cute. I'm not looking for full, full coverage today. I'm not about it. I have to go be outside in a little while. Um, and it's like 90 degrees outside. And it's been so humid lately. Like, suffocatingly humid. So this is not going to be like a longevity type vid, just like a first impression try on. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> okay, so I'm going to just go straight into the jar with my Real Techniques contour brush. I like this. It's smaller, it's dense, but it still has some movement to it. I usually use this for like cream blush, cream bronzer, cream highlighter blending out concealer. It's really, it really is a nice brush. Let me swatch this first. Very creamy. It feels fairly similar to the Fenty one. She looks a lot warmer on my hand, which is very good, thank God. Cause I don't need a contour, cool toned vibe today especially since it's the middle of august middle of august the end of august okay enough messing around kt okay i don't know why i'm always so nervous trying <laughs> cream products for the first time but i am i only put a little bit on my brush too just because it's, it's much easier to deal with cream products that way. Oh, wow. Okay, that was ridiculously easy. <laughs> Give me more. Blend into the hairline. So I don't look like I'm wearing a mask. Wow. Whoa. It feels like powder. What? What the devil? That is so weird. Like it looks not sheeny, not shiny, but it just looks like it has like a reflective look about it. Definitely not matte, but maybe like satin, but it, it feels like it's set. And I mean, some is coming off, obviously. I'm touching my face. Dipshit. Okay, well, that was not what I was expecting at all. 
Dang. That's awesome. Huh. Don't mind Big Bertha over here. We're just gonna ignore she's she ever made an appearance. It's so like easy to blend out. It and it looks pretty natural too. My skin gets red with application, so that's not due to the bronzer. My forehead never really gets red. It's my cheeks because of my rosacea. So just, well, you can't really tell. It's just red because I'm going like this. <laughs> Ooh, it's so weird. I'm trying not to touch my face because obvious reasons, but it's so weird that it's like set. <laughs> so interesting. And I mean, taking the only form, the only other cream bronzer formula that I have tried that I like is the Fenty one. But I feel like they are very different formulas. Very so cream bronzer. See, yeah, and it doesn't. Interesting. I wonder what the description of each product is, like online or something. I should have looked that up before I did this. And put some on my little nose boop, 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 boop. to make it look like I actually was outside this summer and last summer when really it was the panty and I'm just hiding from everyone wow I'm so surprised It looks good up close. It's not emphasizing anything. I have a dog hair in my eye. Thanks, Berkeley. Oh, it looks so smooth on my skin too. Wow. Ding, this is so good, yay, oh my God. Oh, I'm going to use the shit out of this. <laughs> um, how much is even in this? Uh, net weight 0.35 ounces, 10 grams. Net weight 6.23 grams, 0.22 ounces. So, wait a second. Okay, so there's more in this than this. I might be stupid and I might be saying that wrong, but. I can't remember which one you're supposed to go. F I think it's the, the, the net, the Poids net that you're supposed to go to. So the Fenty is 0.22 and the Elf is 0.35. So you get a little bit more in this. This was like six bucks. It's Elf, you know. I think this is, this is 25 or 30 or something. But, you know, you get mirror, you know, plus it's Fenty. Okay. Okay. I'm shooketh. <laughs> it looks so good, like, in the mirror and everything. It looks so natural, and it was literally effortless. Dang, Elf. You did that. I'm so interested to see how it wears. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I found another good product, yay. This is the part of video where I'm like, I need to stop. But it's fun applying. This is 
is so good. I'm so hyped up. Yay. Okay, well, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> I'm all done. Well, then. Um, I'll probably film a quick check-in later on separately, like I have been doing, just to see how it deals with the outside world and the Iowa humidity. Oh my god, yeah, I'm so excited. Yay!